From MTN News, this is Montana This Morning. I'm Shannon Newth in Great Falls. Across the nation, the trucking industry is facing a driver shortage. Coming up, I'll tell you if that's the case here in Great Falls as well. Bozeman High School's Class of 2021 celebrates in person and together. I'm Gabby Crevett and I'll have that full story coming up. It is that season, isn't it? It is. That's it. Uh, congratulations to all graduates uh, within the sound of our voices here. Uh, they've been spread out over a couple of weeks and we wish mm -hmm. you the very best out there. Uh, and we give you a nice Monday morning uh, to follow it up mm -hmm. with. Uh, uh, it's fantastic yeah. outside, isn't it? It's beautiful. Uh, temperatures a little crisp in a few areas, but most of us are holding into the 40s. 34 in Butte, 34 in West Yellowstone, Phillipsburg sitting at 34. Lottery tickets, 34 and 44. <laughs> that's what I'm going with. <laughs> Those oh, are your lucky numbers. That's right. Uh, <laughs> lots of sunshine on tap for today. It looks like our daytime high should be well into the 70s for today. The wind speeds may be up a few miles an hour by the time you head into the afternoon, but you look at these temperatures uh, at least throughout the week. We're going to be ping ponging back and forth over the course of the next seven days. We'll talk more about those dips and dives in the temperature coming up in just a few minutes. I ping pong, dips and dives. I tell you how much I love Matt Ella. I know. I, just I, love, I love you just, guys too. He's just Especially a, if you win that lottery. My new buddy, right. my pal, Best my friends. friend. You are a wonderful, funny, <laughs> he really exciting, is, isn't he? lovely human. Flatter, really, flatter yeah. will get you everywhere. I have 44 right. reasons why I think you should win that too. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're commuting to or from Belgrade, this morning, you'll need to make a change in your routine. That's right. Uh, construction on the interstate going to be shutting down the eastbound ramps all week. It starts uh, started about six o'clock this morning. It'll last until eight o'clock tonight. MDT a milling and repaving the interstate, and that means both the Jackrabbit and airport interchanges are affected. Eastbound on and off ramps closed all day through Saturday. MDT says drivers will need to find alternative routes. MDT says that it could include continuing the 19th Street exit in Bozeman. Drivers can also avoid the interstate, stick to the frontage road. Now for through traffic, the interstate will be reduced to one lane, speeds of 55 miles an hour, that's 5.5. Five. Trucks and other heavy equipment will be present, um, as will construction workers, so motorists are urged to use extreme caution. Absolutely. And running through Saturday. Like many products and businesses over the past year, the trucking industry has been hit hard with pandemic shortages. Yeah, those shortages, though, started well before COVID concerns. According to the American Trucking Association, by the end of 2018, the essential industry was short 60,000 drivers. MTN Shannon Newth takes us to Great Falls Trucking Company, where the demand for drivers always high. As long as I keep moving, I keep working, people keep getting their Nikes and you know, their Nutter Butters and their Starbucks Frappuccinos in a can and which I like, um, <laughs> coffee. <laughs> Kenneth Brooks has spent more than two decades of his life on the road as a truck driver. And I learned something new every day in this truck. For 17 of those years, he's been employed by KNK Trucking based in Great Falls. Brooks is one of 23 drivers on staff for the long haul trucking company that specializes in refrigerated products. It's challenging, but it's never boring. Dave Bertelson and his wife Vicki took over the company from Vicki's father in 1999. Really make an effort to be still, we are a small company, and that's part of why a lot of drivers like working with us. If you want your tennis shoes and your groceries, uh, you need us. While COVID concerns put the brakes on many industries, trucking's been essential. I've hauled Pepsi, Coke, uh, truck bed liners, uh, produce, uh, oranges, apples, melons, grain. Um, I've had all kinds of things, you know, uh, COVID, toilet paper, <laughs> paper towels, you name it. But a pandemic problem of companies struggling to hire workers is nothing new for the trucking industry. Finding drivers has always been an issue, qualified drivers. There's a lot of marginal and unqualified drivers out there. Bertelson says part of the issue is that insurance rates, which dictate how they operate, have skyrocketed in recent years, making it harder to do business. He's also seen the average driver age increase. There are not a lot of young people in trucks and not a lot of women. And I don't know why. To help combat this, KNK is offering a $2,000 bonus to current drivers who recruit new ones. Our industry needs to do a better job of promoting uh, 
truck driving is a, a viable profession and a well compensated profession. It's a tough job with a uniquely challenging schedule. If the truck don't move, I don't get paid. Bertelson says a change in perception of the industry hasn't helped either. 40 years ago, a uh, truck driver was, was a noble profession and it's, it's been run down over the last 20 years and I think that's our biggest challenge is making sure that all of our uh, drivers know that they're very important and especially through the pandemic, you know, nurses, every, all the frontline people got a lot of creds. Not so much the truck drivers that are still delivering the goods that we all needed. In Great Falls, Shannon Newth, MTN News. And you can hear more from Kenneth about his job as a driver and what he's experienced over the years on our website. But that's an interesting story, to say it the totally least. It totally is. Yeah. Meantime, today, Vice President Kamala Harris is in Guatemala, her first international trip to help address the number of migrants who are attempting to enter the United States. Our Joe St. George now with a closer look at the state of our southern border, why the Vice President is in Guatemala, and her challenge during this week's visit to the region. They are images that at times have been difficult to watch over the last few months. At times, stunning migrants attempting to jump fences and walls of the southern border, only to be taken into custody by Border Patrol agents shortly thereafter. Our cameras captured this video back in March. This week, though, Vice President Kamala Harris is attempting to address it with her first international trip as vice president. She's in Guatemala on Monday and Mexico on Tuesday. Her first stop is in a region known as the Northern Triangle, composing Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. It's essential to solving the migration influx, experts say, because it's estimated each year over 100,000 people leave their homes and cross Mexico in an attempt to enter the United States. Vice President Harris's mission will try and make those who live in Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and yes, Mexico stay where they are and not make the dangerous journey to the United States. If you travel to Guatemala, you won't find a single family that hasn't been affected by migration. No Gotchak is an international policy analyst with Oxfam, a group that fights poverty around the globe. He says the vice president has a tough task with the wealth gap there and corruption, which leaves families little choice but to try and leave. Guatemala is in a poor country. It's a middle income country, but it's got some of the most extreme wealth inequality anywhere in the world. It's moms and dads who are simply trying to find safety for themselves, for their families, for their kids, because there's the threat of gangs, there's the threat of not having enough money to put food on the table. Prior to the trip, the vice president announced these companies and institutions are committing resources to the region to create jobs and education opportunities, all in an effort to keep people there. As for the latest numbers on what's going on at the border, in April, 178,622 migrants were apprehended trying to enter the United States. That doesn't count the ones who successfully got through a 20 year high. According to the Department of Homeland Security, around 111,000 of those migrants were removed moved from the United States. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George. Well, here at home, Bozeman High School seniors celebrated the 121st annual commencement ceremony Sunday, and things looked a lot different than last year. MTN's Gabby Krevet was at the ceremony and has our story. Bozeman High School graduates and their families were able to gather at Bobcat Stadium together and celebrate graduation and reflecting on an amazing year. We present to you the Bozeman High School Class of 2021. It's just an incredible energy today with so many faces in the crowd and to be able to see all the students' faces. Sitting six feet apart, but with big smiles visible from the stands, BHS seniors gathered together for the last time. Principal Dan Mills says this group of seniors is a special group resilient and bound to succeed. Their whole educational routine was sort of turned upside down and recreated and we're getting back on the path to something more traditional now, but this group has really rolled with the punches. Graduates said they were thrilled to be surrounded by one another. Faces visible and family and friends cheering from the bleachers. Last year has been absolutely crazy with the pandemic and everything. Never, nothing really got back to normal fully, but I think we definitely made the most of our year. And now finally that everything is sort of back to normal, it was awesome to be able to have graduation. Faculty and student speakers cheered on the graduates, sharing stories of perseverance and gratitude, each one embarking on the next chapter. I'll be going to the National Guard for basic this summer. I'm super excited and then I'll go to college. I think I'm just going to take a gap year. After that, I'm going to MSU. 
on a film degree. There's a lot of very talented and, and, and very uniquely talented individuals that graduated today. And some of them are going on traditional paths to college, some of them aren't, but they're all poised for success. And I just, I, I'm looking forward to seeing what they do in the future because this is a great group of students. Reporting in Bozeman, Gabby Kravitz, MTN News. By the way, next year, Gallatin High School and Bozeman High School will hold separate graduation ceremonies. Of course, that'll be the first for the new Gallatin High School. Uh, That's so, how that all worked out. such an exciting time. Yeah, I've just talked to some of the seniors. Kudos to all the graduates. Talking about last year's senior class, it just ended for them. Mm -hmm. they, they were juniors last year. It ended, and then they had to turn around and come back and try to do it all over again as a senior and do all that. Right. So, yeah, the challenges They've were pretty real They've got to gain them. that perspective, though, yep. over this year, you know, where that, that abruptness didn't, you know, right. happen to them. They got to, like, watch it. Yeah. All the seniors I've talked to, I'm just blown away by how they're wise beyond resilient. their ears. The resilient yes, is the resilience. word I love to use. Absolutely. So. They will go far. They'll do well. Well, congratulations. Yes. Well, coming up here, puppies can grab your heart and make an instant bond. And now science thinks it knows why that happens. Find out what researchers are saying after the break. Right now, let's look. Good morning. Ahead on CBS this morning, the latest on the record-breaking heat wave gripping parts of the country. Plus, a mega drought is affecting the Hoover Dam's ability to provide water for millions of Americans. Here, the drastic decision that may be needed to tackle the issue. Also, Prince Harry and Meghan welcome a baby girl. Royal contributor Tina Brown will join us with what this means for their tense relationship with the royal family. And our Spring into Summer series is celebrating the return of the arts, including live music. See which stars showed up for a benefit concert in New York with an audience of frontline workers. We'll see you at 7.